Hello, thanks for tuning in to Sensi Slots. Today we're going to show you what we do to our Carrera 124 digital cars to run non-magnet. Today we chose the Carrera Audi R8. It's a great beginner car. It's well planted to the track and it's well liked by veterans as well. Here you see the chassis of the R8 in its stock form. No modifications have been done this far. It's better to do this step in the beginning since it takes about 24 hours. We take the motor out of the car and I built this little holder you can see there in green and I dip that down inside that little cup full of WD-40 and I'll let this run maybe 3-4 volts inside the WD-40 totally submerged for about 24 hours to get the com all polished and nice and smooth. After the 24 hours, I'll pull it out, let it drip dry, and then I'll take my compressor and blow out any excess WD-40 fluid. Then once it's, I'm satisfied that it's uh, dried out, I will then dip it in the electric cleaner, and I'll let it run in there maybe 5 or 10 minutes, make sure it's nice and clean and there's no WD-40 residue left. Once I pull it out, again, I'll blow it dry. Once I'm satisfied it's dried, I'll put a drop of oil on either end of the motor shaft and install it back in the motor carrier. All Carrera 124 digital cars have two spots for magnets. One in front of the silver bracket seen in the photo and one under the rear axle. We're going to remove the motor mount so we can get to the rear axle magnet and remove the magnet from the axle carrier. This next step is personal preference. Carrera has mold injections on all four rims that leave a divot. I choose to fill those in with gap filler super glue. Not everybody I race with does, but I feel it gives me a better bond to the tire and sometimes if you don't do it, you feel a bump on your tire and that's just not good for traction. So I choose to fill it in so it's one solid rib all the way around the rim. Once you fill in the divot, the super glue is going to leave a little bump. So I use the file to smooth it down almost flat so it speeds up the sanding process on the tire truer. Okay, so now we're on to the front axle. Once you have it all trued up nice and smooth, I will install the front tires back onto the rim. Some people like to put the black side out since the silicones on the rear are black walls. Some leave the white lettering tires out. I usually leave them out just because it looks cooler, but that's again personal preference. So now that it's all trued up, I'll put the tires back on the rim and then I'll take thin set super glue and I'll drop a bead of super glue around the rim. So I'll peel back the tire, drop a piece of a little bit of super glue in there, and then it runs around the lip of the, the tire and the rim, giving it a nice strong bond. That way when you're on the tire truer, the tire doesn't slip and you get a nice true tire once you're done. Now you'll see the Carrera Audi R8 rear axle in its stock form next to a brand new pair of Sensi Slots silicone tires ready to be mounted onto the stock axle. The rear wheels are roughly the same. Once it's nice and smooth, I take uh, some clear household silicone and put a small bead around the inside of the tire. Then I'll stretch it over the rim and roll out any excess to make sure that I have silicone all the way around. Once you have the silicone around, wipe off the excess and let it sit for 24 hours is usually what I do. Uh, that way it's nice and cured and won't slip on the tire truer. Yeah, I'd like to stop for a second here and just show you my tire truer. A friend of mine built this for me. What he did was he took my Area 3 tire truer and mounted it on a piece of aluminum plating. He then built a little mechanical arm that runs by motor and the motor turns roughly a thousand to one. So he took the suspension parts, drilled it into my sanding block and made it automated so there's no more sitting in front of the tire truer for hours on end. 
if you have a good axle you can put it on the truer and lube it up and it'll take care of itself you can come back say every half an hour every hour depending on what you're doing and it really saves a lot of time here you see the front and rear axles ready and prepped for the tire truer <laughs> All right, that was easy. Now that the front and rear axles are trued, you're pretty much finished with the rears, but the fronts still have one more step. The final step for the front axle, we'll put it back on the truer, we'll get our thin set super glue back out, and we'll get these little makeup applicators. I'm sure your wife probably has some laying around, but it's probably safer if you just go buy your own. So what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of super glue on the applicator and while the tires are spinning on the truer, you just kind of paint across a couple coats of super glue and wait for that to harden. Once it's hardened, take a really fine sandpaper, almost like a wet sandpaper, and smooth out the super glue in case you have little bumps or whatever may have not been painted on quite smooth. The reason we do this is you don't want any traction on your front wheels. It's just dra more drag and it'll slow you down. So the smoother and harder you can make these, the better off you're going to be. Now that the front axle is finished, you can reinstall it in the chassis of the Carrera Audi R8. This next step is not totally necessary, but we do it just to prevent the axle of maybe rubbing through the uh, light wires. So what we'll do is push it down into the chassis and just add a couple dabs of hot glue just to keep the wire in place and not dragging on the axle potentially slowing you down a little bit probably not but uh, it's a good thing to do anyhow now we're going to prep the rear axle to be mounted back into the axle carrier we put a little bit of uh, RC silicone shock oil around the gear and just a little bit it'll work itself around you don't need to go too much because too much is usually not a good thing. Uh, also what you're going to do is put a dab of oil in the bearings so you keep those nice and, and lubed and running free. One other small tip with the WD-40, once your wheels and tires are all trued, you can take that same applicator or a Q-tip and brush on a coat of WD-40 on the surface of the tire. Uh, the tracks that meets the track surface and let that sit for a day and let it soak in and really bring out the grip of the silicone be sure not to soak the entire tire in WD-40 it's not a good idea and it will damage the tire adding weight is also a personal preference thing we found that most of the cars if they weigh somewhere between 235 to 245 they seem to handle the best when you're running without magnets as far as where to place the weight it's another personal preference thing I find it better if I have it in the center of the car some people like to put it on the running boards on the left and the right as you can see in the photo so just play around with it and see what works for you This last tip is kind of advanced and I debated rather not to share it. A lot of the times the bearings are kind of loose in the uh, axle carriers on the front axle and the rear axle. We have used the little torch shown in the photo to heat up the axle carriers and use a pair of pliers to kind of bend the axle carriers a little tighter so it's a nice snug fit on the bearing. This uh, helps the movement also helps with your handling. The downside is if you do it wrong and overheat it or mess up your axle carrier, there's no way to buy just the axle carrier. So unless you have extras, I would not suggest doing this tip because the only way to get other carriers is to buy a complete car to get another one. So be very, very careful. Take your time. Do it slow if you do choose to do this tip. I'd like to thank you for watching our tutorial. Hopefully these tips will be beneficial to you. I know it sounds like a lot of stuff to do. You can do some of them, all of them. Uh, it's just what we've come accustomed to. And once you've done a couple, it's really nothing at all to do these and not a whole lot of time. 
So thanks again and stay tuned.